Miser in the Bush Once upon a time, there lived a poor farmer. He was at the mercy of his cunning boss, the countryman. The countryman would make him work for days and nights in the fields and pay him no money at all. <laughs> you want money to work in the farm? This is the funniest thing I have ever heard. Nobody pays farmers to do a basic job like farming. <laughs> I pay for your shelter and food. Isn't that enough? Do you know how much your food costs me? I mean, come on! Do you really have to have three meals a day? Of course I do. I work really hard in the fields. Oh, well, it's just farming. How difficult could that be? Okay, now, I have other things to do. Talk to me in a month and crack the same joke. I will think about it then. <laughs> the farmer always left disappointed from the countryman's house. He thought of leaving the job many times, but he was afraid that he wouldn't find another job. Months passed, and yet no money was paid to the poor farmer. Then one day... Enough is enough. I am not happy here. I can't work here anymore. Sir, I have worked here for three years now. I deserve to be paid. I will not leave until you have paid every penny for my hard work. Uh, you are right. There you go. One, two... Three. What is this? Only three pennies? Only? What do you mean by only? These are three pennies. When was the last time you went out in the real world? What do you know? This is a fortune. Is that so? All right, then. If I have earned a fortune, then I need not work for you anymore. What? I am done working for someone who does not appreciate me. I know that someday my honesty and hard work will be rewarded. Goodbye. The farmer left the fields. He knew that three pennies were not enough, but he was happy to have some money for survival. A little ahead, the farmer heard a strange noise. It came from behind a tree. He went closer and called out. Are you okay? <laughs> what are you here for? I have nothing you can steal. Steal? Why would I steal from you? And why are you crying? Are you hurt? A cruel man stole my pot of gold. I found it at the foot of a rainbow and... At the foot of a rainbow? I thought that's just a story. No, it isn't. I had my gold, but now it's gone. <laughs> oh, please don't cry. Well, I can't match with your pot of gold, but I can give you these. This may not be much, but this is all I have. Oh, but then what will you do? Don't worry about me. I will be fine. It seems you need this money more than I do. I knew you were the one. I knew you would not let me down. Huh? Who are you? I am a dwarf angel. We are sent on land every year to find one man who is worth our magic. I am impressed with your kindness, my friend. Tell me, what do you wish for? I can grant you three wishes, one for each penny. Oh, this is strange. Are you telling me the truth? Tell me your wishes and you will know! Um... The farmer thought for a while. Finally, he knew what he wanted. I got it! Firstly, I wish to have a bow that will bring down anything I shoot at. Secondly, a fiddle that will set everyone dancing who hears me play it. And thirdly, I wish that everyone should grant what I ask for. Your wishes are granted. Use them wisely. The farmer was now happier than ever. He walked merrily thinking about what all he could do. 
Just then, he came across a man throwing stones at a tree. Hello, sir. Why are you throwing stones at this poor tree? I am not throwing stones at a tree, you fool. I am trying to bring down that flower. That is the most beautiful flower. It only blooms once in four years. And that over there on the highest branch of this tree is the only flower in the world. It is very valuable, you see. Many people have tried to bring that flower down, but nobody could do it. Oh, I can give it a try. <laughs> I see the bow and arrow there. You think you are the only archer to try his luck? No one can aim that high. The farmer drew an arrow and aimed at the root of the flower blooming on the highest branch. And without giving it a second thought, he shot at the branch. The arrow went higher and higher as if it was going on its own. And with one swift movement, the flower fell in the farmer's hands. That is impossible. How did you do that? Well, honestly, a dwarf... Oh, I don't care. Give me the flower. But I brought it down. Why should I give it to you? That's unfair. I saw it first and told you about it. Hmm, you are right. All right, I will give you the flower. But you will have to give me a reward in return. After all, I did all the work. The farmer was an honest man, but the man standing in front of him was a real miser. Everybody in the town knew that the miser was a crafty young man. He would make others do all the work and never pay them. Nobody trusted him. But the innocent farmer was not aware of the miser's cunning nature. You are right, my friend. I will pay you 500 gold coins for this beautiful flower. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. Hey, wait! Where are you going? You owe me 500 gold coins! What are you going to do about it? Play your fiddle? <laughs> Goodbye! <sighs> He's right! What can I do besides playing my fiddle? Just as the dwarf angel had promised, the miser began to dance to the farmer's tune. He hopped and swirled and swayed with the wind. The farmer kept playing his fiddle. After a while, the miser slipped and fell into a bush. And yet, he could not stop dancing even as the thorny bush tore at his clothes. Oh, have some mercy! Please, stop! I will give you your reward! There! In my shirt! There are two red pouches! Take it! I only took what you owed me. You should have handed me my reward right away. Goodbye now. The miser tried to pick up his clothes. But how could he? Soon, news spread in the entire neighborhood. The miser was not just a miser anymore. He was the miser in the bush. Oh, I will show him. What does he think of himself? The next day, the miser angrily went to the court. Hmm, I see. So a man with a fiddle and a bow stole your, um, cold? Yes, your, uh, cold. How can anyone steal cold? He stole my gold, sir. Gold. 500 gold coins! Ah, gold. I knew something was off about this complaint. Harvey! All you have to do is write down a complaint. How difficult is that? <clears throat> so, a young man with a fiddle stole your 500 gold coins. Bring the man with the fiddle and the bow. With great difficulties, finally the man with the fiddle and the bow was found and brought before the judge. 
You have been accused of having stolen 500 gold coins from this man. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Yes, Your Honor. I did not steal from anyone. This man gave it to me as a reward for getting him the flower from the highest branch of the tree. He is lying. I did not give him any reward. Well, young man, it is hard to believe. I mean, 500 gold coins only to bring him a flower? <laughs> <laughs> But I am speaking the truth. No! He stole them from me and then pushed me into that bush. He is lying. I am not. Yes, he is. All right, that's enough. Listen, uh, man with the fiddle, the case is against you. The miser in the bu- <clears throat> I mean, this fine gentleman here has a strong case. I thus sentence the man with the fiddle and bow to five years in prison. You shall also return the 500 gold coins to the miser in... Uh, I mean this gentleman here. <laughs> I understand, Your Honor. Would you please grant me one thing, though? I wish to play my fiddle for the last time. No, Your Honor! You cannot allow that. Please, don't! Oh, but it's just an innocent wish. No, it isn't. And how can he ask to play the fiddle inside a court? And, and this cannot be his last wish. He is only going in prison for five years, not forever. I, I understand. What you say makes sense, but... But for some reason, I cannot say no to him. I am compelled to grant him what he asks for. The farmer smiled, for he knew why the judge could not say no. I wish that everyone should grant what I ask for. Oh, golly, where are the guards? Please, please hold on to me. But it was too late. As soon as the farmer began to play his fiddle, Everybody in the court began to dance. Nobody could resist it. Neither the miser nor the guards. Even the judge joined them. Oh, <laughs> what? what is happening? We're all dancing, Your Honor. Oh, shut up, Harvey. The farmer stood right in front of the miser and stopped playing his fiddle. Tell everyone the truth, or I shall make you dance for the rest of your life. <laughs> Whew, guards, arrest him before he plays his fiddle again. But the farmer was faster than the guards. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. Please, stop. I admit it. I admit. You didn't steal. I gave you those 500 gold coins as a reward to bring down the flower from the highest branch of the tree. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Well then, it's settled. The man with the fiddle is innocent. The miser has wasted the court's time by lying. He must pay a fine of 500 gold coins to the man with the fiddle and the bow. Also, he must give away all his wealth to the people of his town. This will teach you to the value of honesty over wealth. Case closed. The farmer was thus released. He received the wealth he deserved. But he was a hard-working and a determined man. He bought a piece of land and continued farming. No one was surprised to find out that the miser owed a lot of money to others. After giving away all his wealth, the miser in the bush had no money left. He had to work and earn his living for the rest of his life. The End